Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, I don't know where to start with all this hurried up deal stuff. It's been before our county for two and a half years. It's the most broad, it's the broadest, most comprehensive growth management effort this county has ever taken on. And coming from a commissioner to my right, who in four years hasn't brought one positive initiative yet, and a commissioner to my left, who And we've listened to hyperbole and nonsense. Please call government. for a recess, Mr. Chairman. In 2004. Mr. Chairman, call for a recess. He was in the medicine. Yeah, he's fixing to be in the middle of getting his rear end whipped, so I'm asking you better call for a recess. Is yeah. Sheriff Kathy here? Yeah. Yeah. Ask for a vote. Ask for a vote. Okay. All in favor of recess, say aye. 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 Mr. Chairman, just call a recess. You, to maintain order, I'm asking you. Can please. you not let him finish? You, uh, no, I'm asking you to please talk for a reason. You were rather explicit about him. I wasn't, I wasn't yeah, insulting were. to him. Yes, you were. I, I didn't call him greedy. I didn't call him any names. I didn't make any false remarks about what he was saying or doing. And that's what he's I doing to me. False I'm not going to tell you. I've taken it for four years. Well, how about this I'm last I'm asking you to call for a recess. Well, call care. for a recess. What, what are you going to do with a recess? I'm not going to slap his face. You might? I may. Oh, that would be interesting. You want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm just asking you before I lose my temper this is not to call for a recess. And it's not you are a gentleman. It's not I am a gentleman. Job. That's why I'm asking you to call for a recess so I can take and go and talk to him in the other room to ensure that he doesn't continue along the same line of name calling that I put up with for four years. I've heard name calling from all sides here. I've Mr. Chair, you had, you you've heard me be very respectful. Of you were or two years that you were here. on the um, uh, Mr. Chair, please, please. respectful side tonight uh, on the way. I I just would like him to finish and then we'll have the recess. You will, okay, if if Commissioner Sexton, you watch your tone. If you keep on with any name calling, if you I say do anything, it's false. Do I need to have a browbeating session? Mr. Chair, you don't have a browbeating session, Mr. 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 Rushing. Thank you. I feel like I'm I'm back in school, Mr. Chairman. And I don't Mr. like Chairman. That's insulting. It is I've insulting. asked you. I've asked you please for a recess, and I could talk to him in the other room, and you wouldn't provide that. But I, it's been a while. And that's been very somebody respectful. Offered to take him out in, in the. No, election. I've asked to take him over another room and talk to him about his current line of talk. If he wants to insult me, then he's not going to do it in front of all these people. And I'm not going to sit here and take it. And if he you don't put up with it, like you have meeting after meeting, then you are not the man that you claim to be. I and have, you're the one that needs to go back to school and learn some manners. Mr. Mr. Rushing, I have gaveled him down before. And I will gavel him down if he becomes derogatory. But he can tell the truth if it is the truth. So, or Mr. Chairman, is, so, is it the truth that I've not presented anything positive in four years? You, uh, is you that the truth, Mr. Chairman? Tell me. Mr. Rushing, is that the finish. truth, Mr. Chairman? I've not presented anything positive in four years. Mr. Rushing, let me finish. Whenever you get off base, I can gavel you down. I didn't gavel you down this evening, although you were <clears throat> on the verge of it. And and uh, you can be very accommodating and let him have his say. And uh, Mr. Sexton, will you... Uh, Please not be. I said nothing that wasn't true and nothing that was offensive. I just spoke straight up and down, just like he did when he was speaking. I didn't interrupt him as bad as I didn't like it. I didn't interrupt him. I was going to let him have his say, so let's go ahead. This is the most contentious uh, item, uh, maybe except for the school board bond hearing that we've had for a while. We and took a recess then. Remember when it got heated? We took yeah, a recess. When it got heated, we took a recess then, Mr. Chair. Well, that, that was, I called that recess. Yes, yeah, so you can go out and change your mind. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Sexton, continue, please. Yeah. Thank you, sir. One of the things that are interesting is uh, we've, had, we've had constant questions that have been asked and answered many, many times. And in 2004, the EJ had a voter guide 
that you were in, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Presley was in. Mr. Chairman, what's that got to do? Point of order, what's that got to do with the vote? I'm, I'm going to get to it right now. It says it's the APFO. <laughs> and Mr. Presley indicates in here that it was a total waste of the taxpayers' dollars. It two is. And half, two it and a half years ago. It is a tax waste. Excuse me. It is. Two and a half years ago, before we even had it before this board. So his mind was made up. All the questions that have been asked tonight have been a charade. He made up his mind before he knew anything about it. That's all I have. Thank you. See, that's all of what? I'm going to respond to him. Lastly, I want to say. <laughs> you not going to let me respond to it? 